Welcome to another Pause for Thought, coming to you from the St Neots and Huntingdon Methodist Circuit. Come, just as you are, and know that you are welcome. That just as you are, you are enough, known and precious to God. Some words by Fiona Barker invite us to worship. In hope in love, in pieces and in peace, we come together. In trust, in faith, in anticipation and in waiting, we stay together. In word and silence, in naming and knowing, we worship together. The God who is ever faithful. Let us pray. Faithful and unchanging God, you who are always there, always for us, you who never change, we gather to worship you to name you our Lord and our King, to praise you for who you are and all you enable us to be. Thank you for the gifts of Emmanuel. Jesus, come to rescue us. Come to meet us in the everyday moments of life. Spirits of God, comforter and counsellor, be present in us and through us. Hear all that we bring and all that we feel. And to you, Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer, be the praise and glory now and always. Amen. And our reading is from 1 John chapter 4, verses 7 to 14. Loving one another. Dear friends, let us continue to love one another for love comes from God and anyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. But anyone who does not love does not know God for God is love. God showed how much he loved us by sending his one and only son into the world so that we might have eternal life through him. This is real love. Not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. Dear friends, since God loved us that much, we surely ought to love each other. No one has ever seen God, but if we love each other, God lives in us and his love is brought to full expression in us. And God has given his spirit to us as proof that we live in him and he in us. Furthermore, we have seen with our own eyes and now testify that the father sent his son to be the saviour of the world. Thanks be to God for his word. Saint Jerome. 
recalls that St John the Evangelist, living in Ephesus in his extreme old age, would from time to time be carried with difficulty into the church by his disciples. He had no strength left for lengthy discussions, but could only say, Agapomen Alleluus, let us love one another. Agapomen Alleluus, let us love one another. At length, the disciples and church members who were there, wearied by the repetition, asked, Master, why do you always say this? He replied, because it is the Lord's command, and if that alone is done, it suffices. Let us love one another. Because in this year 2021, it is still the Lord's command. And if his followers alone do that, it will suffice. John, what do you say? Agapomen Alleluus. But John, some baptise only adults while others offer this gift to children. What is your advice? Agapomen Alleluus. Let us love one another. Some have easily identifiable gifts of God's presence, but others don't. John, what do you say? Agapomen Alleluus. Some followers drink wine while others don't. What do you say? Agapomen Alleluus. Some want to press ahead and innovate. Others want what they know and cherish. John, give us your wisdom. Agapomen Alleluus. Let us love one another. John reminds us that whatever year we find ourselves in, the followers of Jesus are to be characterised by the quality of their love. Unchanging, unconditional, a choice more than a feeling. Agape, that love which makes a difference, that which is lived in the midst of the mess of life. Benjamin Franklin, it is said, sought to help people in Philadelphia buy into the concept of street lighting. He didn't go about it by talking to them about the idea. Instead, he hung a beautiful lantern on a long bracket before his own door and he kept the glass brightly polished and carefully lit the lantern each day as dusk fell. People out and about on the dark street saw Franklin's light a long way off and were grateful for its friendly glow. To each person it seemed to say, here is a safe place to walk. See that cobblestone sticking out? Don't stumble over it. I shall be here to help you again tomorrow night if you should come this way. It wasn't long before Franklin's neighbours began placing lights in brackets before their homes and soon the entire city saw the value of street lighting. Example is always a strong motivator, a great encourager for doing the right thing in life. And Jesus gives us the best example of all. And when we follow that example and imitate God's love, people will spot the connection, the family likeness. Love is to define the followers of Christ because love is who God is. The lens through which God looks at all that he has made. Someone wrote these interesting words of God. Among the first glimpses we get is of God as seeker, 
with the recording in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 9 of this question. Adam, where are you? God, the one who delights in your company. Commenting on that question from Genesis, a Sunday school teacher observed, you can never be a preacher if you read that question as though God were a policeman. Read it instead as though God were a broken hearted parent looking for a lost child. How would that image change the question for you? God is love, says John. God is our example. God is ever ready to love us so that our loving grows out of our being loved. In all this year brings to us or takes from us, may we remember always that we are chosen and beloved of God and precious in his sight. And as such, we will be strengthened and sustained moment by moment, blessed to bless. Amen. And now for a creed from the book Winter by Ruth Burgess. We believe in a God who cradles the soil, moulds the dust and wills flowers to resurrect amidst the paving slabs and the parched earth. We believe in a God who lives amongst and within us and meets our brokenness in the breaking of bread, who knows the pain of living, the joy of loving and the aloneness of dying. We believe in a God who gazes with love and compassion on all that breathes and moves and sees starlight in our darkest and most painful of places. We affirm that we are people who live with and amidst the jagged cracks of humanity, who know the dark night of the soul, the pain of our bodies, the hurt and the hope of life. And we offer all that we are and can be into the hands of the one who knows and nurtures us. We belong to this creating, living and sustaining God. Amen. Let us pray. Shepherding God, ever attentive to all that you have made, I hold before you who experience a life as something painful, something confusing. 
something to be feared. We pray for those whose experience of life is controlled by others. Who live in the shadows of conflict and poverty, of prejudice and lack. God of goodness and mercy, we remember all who yearn for a sign of your travelling with them. Who look for your provision, who seek a welcome and a place at the feast. As we give thanks for your guidance and leadership, which seeks only the good of your creation, we pray for human leaders at every level and in every place that they too would use who they are and all the gifts they have to bring blessing to all. That you would keep them focused, truthful, wise and attentive to your voice. We remember before you those who experience loss. Loss of a loved one, loss of hope, loss of direction, loss of income or a job, loss of a home, loss of faith. In every situation, Pray for strength to continue to trust, for resource enough for each moment, and for the assurance that nothing will separate us or any from your love. as your beloved. May the light of your love radiate through our lives. And in love, we pray to you, our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the God of hope fill you, all whom you love and all for whom you pray, with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope 
by the power of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord watch over your comings and your goings this day and every day. Amen.